Hello Cancer, how are you today? I'm here today with a th love reading for Cancer. I always get tongue tied there. I'm here today with a love reading for Cancer for September 15th. So Cancer, how these love readings go is that I see how this person views you, I see how they feel about you, and then I get into the forward movement for you and this person. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video, Cancer. So Cancer, when I was shuffling the cards, I was hearing this person or you, take it how it resonates, could be grateful for you. Or someone out here is grateful for somebody. Take the how it resonates, right? So let's see, Cancer. Let's see. Spirit, how does this person view Cancer? How does this person view Cancer, Spirit? Okay, we have one coming out. We have the Moon card in reverse coming out, Cancer. That's that's you, Cancer. Pisces, Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with another water sign. Take it how it resonates. This person could feel like Cancer that they know everything about you or that you leave everything out in the open. You could be a very honest person, Cancer. I'm also hearing very criti critical. Take the how it resonates, Cancer. Go on next to this moon card. Okay, we have three coming out. We have the King of Swords coming out. We have the Two of Wands in reverse coming out, and we have the Five of Wands coming out. Okay, Cancer, with this Five of Wands, they're having an um, arm battle here. The Five of Wands usually is a, um, what's the right word? Kind of like a argumentative battle card, take it how it resonates, going against each other card, right? A war card, take the how it resonates, right? With the five of wands out here. Cancer, you and someone else cannot be seen eye to eye. Could be done with a fire sign. With this king of swords coming out here, somebody, yeah, like I said, someone out here could be very critical. Someone here could be very um, misunderstood is what I'm getting out here, Cancer. Somebody out here could also be very wise because the king of swords, he thinks before he speaks. So that's a very wise individual. Take the how it resonates, Cancer. This is how this person could see you. That you're very wise. Yeah, I told you that you leave everything out in the open. You're very wise, very honest, very smart. You can see um, through and through. Is what I'm hearing here, Cancerian. Take the how it resonates. Okay. Give me more for how this person sees Cancerian, please. Give me more for how this person sees Cancerian, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have... The Queen of Swords in Reverse coming out. Okay, Cancer, so I have a match out here. One is in the upright and one is in, in the reverse. And it's coming right next to this Five of Wands, Cancer. Cancer, it's feeling like that how this person sees you. This person feels like yeah, that they have to go against you, Cancer. That's kind of odd. It's kind of strange. Because I'm looking at this arm battle here. It feels like here because we had a king of swords over here with the two of wands in reverse. Then we had a queen of swords in reverse over here with the five of wands coming right smack day in the middle with the two of wands. And in this two of wands card, they're planting something. They're planting a seed. But with the card being in reverse, how could you plant the seed? Cancer, it feels like here that you and someone else are in a... What do they call it? I'm hearing tug of war. You and someone else could be in a tug of war, Cancer. And I feel like here with this Nine of Pentacles right here, I don't know. Put one next to this Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is wish fulfillment. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse coming out. That's not walking away from something emotionally. Dare I say that someone out here likes this Cancerian? Because Nine of Pentacles is wish fulfillment. I feel like Cancer, make sure that this isn't a karmic soulmate, right? Or this could be a karmic soulmate. Take this out, resonates with what I'm about to say. Cancer, how this individual sees you, or how you see this individual is that somebody out here is like in a world win with, with someone, a tug of war with someone, a battle with someone, that could be a love interest, rather whoever is right, rather whoever is wrong, somebody out here has, you know, been gifted, 
because of this battle, this tug of war, this insane situation. That's why I'm hearing that here, Cancer. Take this how it resonates. By someone going through this cancer, somebody out here has been granted different things. Rather that's gratitude, rather that rather that's ambition, rather that's focus. Take it how it resonates, Cancerian. Um yeah, somebody out, okay, they said re re reword what I just said because at first I said that somebody out here likes this. I don't think that someone out here likes this. I feel like here that the situation has become that someone out here is smart, somebody out here is intelligent, and somebody out here has remained focused on their spiritual pathway if we want to go the spiritual route, right? That's why I'm getting here, Cancerian, and it has blessed them. Nine of Pentacles, and there could be a person, or this could be you, Cancer, that has it emotionally walked away from a person that has been being blessed because of this. I hope I worded that correctly. <laughs> Let's see, Cancer. Let's move on. Yeah, this Queen of Swords in reverse. There could definitely be an envious eye cancer between you and some soulmate. This could be karmic cancer. Someone else had a karmic soulmate. It was either Taurus or it was Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Sag. How does this individual feel about cancer, please, spirit? How, okay. Okay, we have three coming out. This is the four of pentacles. This is the queen of pentacles. And this is the ten of pentacles. Okay, Cancerian. How this person feels about you, Cancer? The four of pentacles. This person does want to keep you. This person does like you. This person does see themselves having a family with you or having a union with you, Cancerian. How this individual feels about you. This person could also be keeping some things away from you, Cancerian, with the Four of Pentacles here. It feels like with this Four of Pentacles card, this person, they're trying to hide something or put something away. Take the high resonates. With this Queen of Pentacles, how this person feels about you, Cancerian? They feel like that you're an upstanding woman. With the Queen of Pentacles, she's all about home and she's all about structure. So this person definitely sees themselves having children with you. You know what else I'm getting, Cancer? Somebody out here could be trying to play the... I'm hearing the long game. Someone out here could be trying to keep you waiting, Cancer, as well, with the Two of Wands universe and the Five of Wands coming out here. Well, how this person views you or how this person sees you. Yeah, someone out here could definitely be wanting to keep someone waiting. Take the how it resonates, Cancer. Also, the other thing what I said with the spiritual route, Cancerian, because I've seen it out here. But back to how this person feels about you, Cancerian, I definitely see where someone could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I got a lot of earth right here. A Taurus, Virgo, Virgo Capricorn. Someone out here could definitely want to build a, I'm hearing family, family lineage with you. I never used that word before, but that's what I heard. <laughs> Take the how it resonates, Cancer. Give me more for how this individual feels about Cancer, please. We have two coming out. This is the Knight of Swords coming out with the Eight of Wands coming out. Someone out here going to send a message towards you, Cancer, or there could be a message coming your way. I don't know, Cancer. I'm, gonna, I'm picking up on a, on a lot of uh, spiritual activity. As far as like spirit guides, I'm hearing the writing on the wall as well. But yes, with the Knight of Swords out here, Cancer, that's like coming in quick, coming in fast. That's also like my um, Triumph and Adversity card, taking control of something with the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is all about communication, Cancer. So yeah, I could definitely see where someone out here wants to send a message, come in, take over something, take control of something, Cancer. Okay. We have judgment coming out, Cancer. What's this one? This is the Five of Cups in Reverse coming out. Cancerian, if this person wanted to keep you waiting or you wanted to keep someone else waiting, someone out here is recovering from that with the Five of Cups in Reverse coming out. You're actually being blessed because of that. 
if someone out here wanted to keep someone waiting or is keeping someone waiting in the meantime between time queen of pentacles energy you're going to be blessed because of that yes you could be falling upon a lot of coins blessings abundance gratitude take the hat resonates cancerian how this person feels about you with the five of cups in reverse coming out i don't know i feel like that there could be some I'm hearing moving on, but I'm not hearing moving on from you, Cancer. I feel like, you know, what's in the past is what's in the past. That's what I'm hearing, Cancerian. Take the hat, I resonate. With the strength card out here in the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I, t I keep seeing some masculine energy take control of something, Cancerian. Take, make, um, yeah, take this hat, I resonate. I do see that. Okay. With this strength card out here in the Knight of Cups, with this how this person feels about you, I do see an offer coming, Cancer. Look, he's on his horse offering something. Could be done with a Leo. Or a, a Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Got a lot of Earth out here. Or another water sign, Cancer. Alright, let's see. Let's move on. So yeah, Cancer, how this person, how this individual feels about you, they definitely want to build something with you. Like I said, this person could be keeping you out of their, I'm hearing out of their drama or, or out of their background, Cancerian. If that's not the case, this person could just be like, you know what, what's in the past is in the past. I want to move forward. I'm going to send a message to you. I'm going to come in, swoop you up. That's what I'm getting here, Cancer. Like someone out here is like, okay, Cancerian, here I come. <laughs> yeah, I see it. <laughs> Give me some forward movement for Cancerian and this person, please. Some forward movement, please, spirit, for Cancerian and this person, please. Some moon rising to Venus. We have the Hermit coming out with the Six of Wands coming out. Yeah, knowledge, wisdom, power. This is the Seven of Swords coming out, Cancerian. And this is the Seven of Wands coming out. So seven, seven could be significant. The number six could be significant. Take the hat, resonates. With this Hermit coming out with forward movement out here, Cancerian, I do see seeking knowledge, wisdom, and power for a victory. The Six of Wands is all about victory. It's all about winning. Could even be a championship in some right, some shape, some form. Take it how it resonates, right? Then we have the Seven of Swords and then the Seven of Wands coming out. Cancerian, the Seven of Swords is all about betrayal, lies, and deceit. I don't like that card coming out with the Seven of Wands. There's also another woman in this card. It also represents third-party situations. Cancerian with forward, forward movement coming up here with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands card in this deck is all about creating boundaries. It's all about, um, you know, standing for something as well. You stand for, stand for nothing, fall for anything. Ever heard that saying? So, yeah, with the Seven of Wands out here, you might have to create some boundaries with an outside party. That's what I'm hearing here. Someone outside of this relationship, outside of whatever that this is. Or someone here has to create boundaries with someone. Seven of Wands out here. In a Seven of Wands card, they're putting, they're putting up like a fort or something. Yeah, protecting themselves against something. Let's put one next to the Seven of Wands. This is the Two of Pentacles in reverse coming out. And this is the King of Wands. Okay, this is giving putting my foot down energy. Okay, Cancer. I don't know why I just picked up on this third party now. I don't know, Cancer. You or someone else might have to say no to someone else. I don't know why that came out at the end of the reading, but it did. Someone here could be seeking how to do this, Cancerian. Take this how it resonates with the Hermit card coming out here. Like I said, the Hermit card is all about knowledge, wisdom, and power. He's seeking those things. So someone out here could be seeking how to move on from someone, get get away from someone, Cancer. Because in this Knight of Swords card, when I see the Knight of Swords running up in this card, I do sense that he's coming in fast. 
So, Cancer, just be careful of that. But we do have the Knight of Cups out here where he's coming in kind of slow and sweet. So, I don't know, Cancer. Take this how it resonates. If someone out here is um, coming in fast, Cancer, they might be coming from... I won't say they're coming from somewhere else, but I will say they might have to be some some bygones be bygones with someone else. Take this how it resonates. Okay. I've also just heard to come, yeah, justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. I also just heard to come sit on the on their on the throne with you. Uh okay, Cancer. Okay, so I'm gonna end it right there. But um, yes, Cancerian. Just be careful of that. But I do still sense the energy of, okay, Cancer, here I come. I do still sense that energy. I do still still sense that someone out here is like, okay, Cancer, I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, I sense that energy, Cancer. So uh, there you are, Cancer. I'm going to end it right there. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. For personal bookings, you can email me at westtsis222 at gmail.com. I love you lots. Bye.